Oh, she's looking voluminous. Hello guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. As you can tell, I've just curled my hair. This is what I use, GHD Curve. Yeah, I've just curled my hair, just popped on some makeup, all showered and fresh this morning. And we are actually doing a bit of a road trip today, which is fun. And I thought I would vlog uh, this little trip. I might even do two videos because we're staying in two different locations. Tonight we're going down towards Salisbury area and my brother was actually born in Salisbury. We've kind of lived in the area before quite a bit in and around the area. So I know it kind of well. So for me, it's kind of like a bit of a nostalgic thing. And for Tom, we're taking Barney as well. But for Tom, he is booked on tomorrow all day to do like a cooking course thing, which it's like an outdoor fire type cooking thing that's not really up my street. But he booked that anyway. And I said, well, I'll come down with you. We'll bring Barney and we can make a bit of a trip out of it. So that's tomorrow. We're going to drive down tonight, stop over night at a um like a cottages type place kind of more airbnb it was i did book it through booking.com but um i'm gonna stay there tonight so that we are in the area to drop him off tomorrow morning and then me and barney are just gonna have like a solo day chilled one i'm gonna take a book i've got a little bit of work to do but otherwise we're just gonna have a mooch and explore and weather's looking a little bit wet tomorrow it's the only day that we're going down that is looking like it's going to be a bit drizzly touch wood the rain will <laughs> go after that but yeah so that's kind of like on the agenda for today's vlog for this vlog and then what i might do is start a second vlog when because we're staying where well, we're staying tonight we're staying there for two nights and then we're going to head up through like we're going to do Stonehenge, going to go to Neptune Outlet, hopefully that will all be within this vlog. But then we are stopping for two nights in like Chipping Norton area where there's like Dalesford Farm, Diddley Squat if you watch Jeremy Clarkson's show. Um, we're staying at one of the kind of like places in and around Dalesford as well. So we're in the village. If you don't know, the Neptune Outlet in Swindon is one of their biggest, if not the biggest, I'm not sure, but I think it's their like headquarters there. So hopefully we'll find some good bits. And then, yeah, and then we've got a little Cotswolds um, vlog. I am just gonna get going with packing. Now that I am ready, it's actually already midday. Tom just has to pop out and then he's going to get back home. I've washed all of our bedding this morning as well. So when we get home, we're going to come home to nice, fresh bedding, which is just the best thing. I feel like there's nothing worse than staying like in hotels, Airbnbs, whatever, fresh new bed to then come home and your bed's a mess and needs a wash. So my future self is thanking me right now. So I've done all of that this morning. Otherwise, yeah, I haven't packed a single thing yet, so we need to get going with packing, then we're gonna get on the road. And it's about a four hour journey down there, so we might do a bit of a stop on route, might grab some dinner when we get there. Um, and otherwise, a fairly chilled one today with um, a fun day exploring tomorrow and the day after. And the day after that, a nice little wholesome trip. So I hope you guys will enjoy this vlog. Thumbs up if you do enjoy the kind of more travel-y content. I know it's not abroad, but we're still on an adventure nonetheless. And we're gonna get in some nice countryside walks, hopefully as well, we're bringing the dog. Um, I have bathed him this morning. So we'll see how clean he stays. <laughs> yeah, make sure you're set and ready with a nice cozy drink and some snacks. Speaking of snacks, I need to get some for the journey and for our little Airbnb as well. Enjoy this vlog and let's get packing. Right, I think we're all packed up for my stuff. I have just got this spare bag here. 
to, well, I might put my tech in it, but I also need to get some bits for Barney to take with us, like just some clean, fresh blankets, towels, toys. Um, I've got to get his food and everything as well. So yeah, I might actually need a different bag for that. So that could be tech stuff. I'm basically gonna wear this outfit and then I've got a jacket and a blazer to take. So I might just pop them on a hanger. And then we've got two bags. This one's mostly got sort of toiletries, hair stuff, like hair tools and shoes and bags. And then that one is pretty much just clothes. Um, but yeah, that's my little Katie Loxton weekend bag. This one is just like an Amazon. Um, suitcase got a list on my phone, so I'm just gonna run through and check that I've got everything but We're getting there. I've just literally clipped my hair back so I don't keep touching it because it's freshly washed I found I find myself like touching my hair all the time. So don't want to make it greasy So that's it. We're all good. Just need to pack the car up now I think Tom has literally just cleaned our walking boots as well So they're gonna go just like in the footwell somewhere and he's got walking jacket all of Barney's bits And then we're good to go Good boy. He's got his little uh, teddy in here. Blanket towels are all ready to go. And we're off. Road trip. Let the road trip commence. It says three hours and 36 minutes left to get there. We've got Barney in the back somewhere. Oh, he's lying down already. And uh, yeah, sun is shining. It's actually quite warm. But hopefully, it says we'll get there by before seven. So hopefully it'll still be still be like we might even do a drive-by of because we go through a little village that we used to live in called Uphaven just before my life got infinitely better meeting you pulling it, putting it on TikTok, no motive, nothing oh be cute, I'm having a pit stop just at a services, <laughs> oh thank you giving this one a bit of a stretch of his legs and that's a lovely stinking breath that's a lovely smelling breath and we are just waiting for tom now he's just gone in to use the toilet i've already been and then we're going to get back on the road we're only about uh an hour and a half out and then we'll be there oh is that a heavy sign because i've got the camera out yeah. oh she's vlogging again I am, or we are just coming through a lovely town. I said Tom would like it. It's a really like quaint um, village town. It's called Marlborough. We used to live near here. So my mum and I used to come to Marlborough and there was always this really good beauty shop. I loved going in. Mum, if you're watching, you'll remember. It was like next to a Pizza Express, I think. And then Devizes is that way. Devizes, it's called like another kind of town. There wasn't really much in Devizes. Devizes. Devizes, yeah. And I think I'm right in saying this is where Kate Middleton went to school. Marlborough School for Girls or something like that. Oh, I'm a boring you. <laughs> a little bit. And then we're gonna come up to, in about 15 minutes, the house that we used to live in, in Uphaven. This is where we used to live, Uphaven Golf Club. It's just, the house is just there. If you go up, I'll, show, I'll point out to you there. My bedroom window, my old bedroom window. But obviously, yeah, living on military bases. So this is what it used to be like. My brother used to play on that golf course all the time. So this street was our street. That's what I, That was our car park in there. And then that house with the orange row yeah, keep going. This is so funny. We are nearly here. Just pulling out, I think it's called Lower Woodford, this place. And I know we're looking out for a pub called the Wheat Sheaf Inn, and it's just opposite the road from that. Your destination is on the left. Thank you very much. And we're in. This is our little cottage here on the left. Yay. <laughs> Hello. Look how happy he is. Is he so excited? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, where are we? On our holidays. On our holidays. <laughs> right, so we're actually staying in this one tonight because they didn't have double availability in the original one which, which we booked for tomorrow night in there. So we're actually staying in here tonight 
then moving over tomorrow. Oh, this is our little breakfast hamper, Tommy. Out, out, out. <laughs> oh, we've got TV in bed. What a luxury, Tommy. Oh, okay, so this is, oh wow, this is much smaller. This is smaller? Yeah, than what we're booked for tomorrow night. It's all right for obviously arriving late today, isn't it? But yeah, we've just got this little, uh, our bathroom in here. It's been a long time since we've been able to watch TV in bed. Like yeah, like I said, this one is smaller than. Because yeah, well, if you think, it's way than the that's that's the next one right there. Yeah, but it's, so think it's the so full length. Better than a. Um, a what is it? Isn't it? And we've got a little kitchenette um, area there. We're just going to unload the bags and then head straight over there to the pub. <laughs> He's in the countryside now. That tree's mental, isn't it? Which one? Oh yeah, this one. We are well and truly in the countryside, zero signal on our phones. We've ordered a nice pub lunch well pub dinner tea yeah what we've ordered isn't exactly pubby we've just ordered a few starters i think because it's quite late for a sunday roast and if we've had leftover potatoes this for lunch didn't we so we've just got a few starters to share what have we gone for terrine we've got three we've got a sharer which is the camembert the camembert sharer Hock Ham hock terrine and a goat's cheese beetroot. That should be quite nice and refreshing. I got you some skin on fries as well. Oh, did you? I think I thought that's what you wanted that. We? Yes. Well, I'm not going to have loads of skin on fries. We will share some. That's why I said let's just get starters. Come on, fellas. Today's potatoes from last night's leftovers. It's cute here, though. Just bumped into a follower. Just like, I recognise you from YouTube. In the middle of the countryside in a tiny little village where we don't even get signal when I meet someone who's followed me online. Amazing. He's just chilling. Enjoying being out the car. So we were think we were saying that's probably the longest he's been in the car. Although we did have the quick break, but a four hour journey. Well, this looks good, Bob. Um... already cooking fire is on so we've actually just pulled in there's barney in the back we had to load up the car because we're switching rooms tonight. i don't know if i already mentioned that or not we're still staying at the same place but we're staying in the other i think i did say didn't i we're staying in the other place tonight so that check-in is open in sort of like four hours or something so this morning i've obviously just dropped tom off at the Stalls Cafe it's called and it's the cooking day for him. So he's booked on to do this full day cooking experience with the fire. I don't really, it's not my thing. It does look pretty nice here, I'm not going to lie. And this is the kind of thing that he wants to do to sort of in advance of having our garden finished, what I'm trying to say. So like he can practice with the open fire cooking. So yeah, we've just dropped him off. I think first port of call for us today is we're going to head into Salisbury I like growing up here and going to Salisbury I was younger I didn't really care about <laughs> the cathedral or you didn't just don't pick up on those things when you're younger but now I'm like an adult and I'm like oh might just go have a nosy around the cathedral so I had a quick look online it's dog friendly as well which is great so especially as this morning even though it doesn't look like it right now can you see blue skies but I think this morning is meant to be the worst of the weather that we're having this entire trip. Fingers crossed. 
rest because like I said right now it's not looking too bad it's a bit blustery outside but yeah the rain is forecast so I thought let's go to the cathedral first have a little nosy around there and then we can maybe go to the old what's it called I had a look on let's have a look the old serum old serum and also right next to it that I've just seen on the maps there's a I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that right in the middle dog agility park and I just tapped on that and it's just like an open field with some dog agility things that people have said you quite often see other dogs there that you can just go in for free have a play so we'll give him a good run around later and then I'm going to go check back in to the other room that we're staying in tonight at the Stonehenge Cottages the exec room and unload the bags and then I've kind of like got a couple of hours probably before I need to pick Tom up so that's the plan they're all started. God, this is just, Tom is in his element here. He will absolutely love this. But anyway, yeah, let's get on the road. Let's head over to Salisbury Cathedral. You want to go to church, Barney? Waterproof is on, just in case. It feels so windy. But can you see the cathedral in the distance? That little spire there, so we just parked up. And let's go explore. Salisbury. How would be up waiting for you if you had to leave? How would wait a lifetime if you were at sea? I just want to say that I feel that our love is real. Maybe we should hurry up and seal the deal. Cathedral. So it's a little goodie bag with goodie bag. <laughs> Back to pin so in a bun. A little gift bag with Troy Cabani. I mean it had his name written all over it, so you know. Do you want it? Do you want it? It's your toy. It's your toy. We'll give it to you later. We'll give it to him later. We've stopped off at a, um, a little cafe. Hold on one second called the Cornish Bakery and I've got myself a brie and cranberry brioche which is lovely. How nice does that look? It's a little kind of light lunch. It's not for you Barney. And then also a mocha. So we're just going to have a bit of a pit stop here. The sun is still shining. <laughs> Don't want to jinx it but I feel like maybe I didn't need my um, raincoat after all. But I think the room, the second room, will be ready to check in in about an hour. So we might just have a bit more of a browse around Salisbury and then head back. He's giving ultimate puppy dog eyes. nice little explore getting our step count in and the cathedral was beautiful by the way if you saw I did get 
a little dog toy for Barney. These were four pounds or four, no, four ninety nine. Sorry. Um, and yeah, it says his name on it, little Barney. So you can have that. Is there a squeaker in it? Yeah, there is. But I won't squeak it just in case there's any doggos watching or doggos asleep. Don't want to be disturbed. And then I also popped into a little crystal shop. And when I did, I did like this sound bath and Reiki thing the other day. I was advised for two crystals in particular um, to get. So I picked up uh, both from this little crystal shop. Lovely lady. She's from, yeah, it's just crystalshop.co.uk. And the two that I was advised to get that I decided to pick up was oh i can't remember the name of this one like a jet black type stone which is good for protection protection and then also rose quartz for a bit of self love so they are the two that i got i wanted to get them small so that i could keep them on me there's a big bowl of them and i just kind of like felt a couple and these were the ones that I was drawn to. I think I'm gonna go via the old, what I, whatever it was I told you earlier, and the dog agility park, just to give him a good run around. 11 minute drive. Perfect. We'll get that in the sat nav, we'll get on the road, and we'll get on the way. Close your eyes. Get some rest I'm by your side Lay your head on my chest It is so windy. I finally had a spell where it seems to be quiet. No wind. That's why I can't vlog out and about. It's because of how windy it's been. But... Hence why the hair is up as well. Waterproof's on just in case. Although look at these blue skies, amazing. We've had amazing weather, haven't we, Barney? Oh, where have you gone? The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay. The sun could go out, we're gonna be okay. If all the blue skies make too gray, we're gonna be okay. Barney just ran straight to the uh, the other door. We're in this room now. We're in this room now. Wait a minute. <laughs> so this is now the executive suite that we're in. Should we go inside and have a look? A bedroom in here. Come on then, let's go through here. Into the kind of living space. Our little breakfast hamper again, ready for the morning. Bathroom in here. And then through here, oh, there is a twin room as well in here. I had no idea. So this one actually sleeps at four people. This could be your bedroom tonight, Barney. What do you think? <laughs> and then I'm assuming little storage. Yeah, washers, washer bits. And in here, we've got a kitchen area. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, it's definitely a lot bigger than the other one. Oh, looking a little windswept. I've just met the resident dog as well, although there's no owners, so I'm not sure what she's called, I think it's a she. I'm trying to figure it out. Um, but yeah, what a lovely little space. So I think the plan now is, Tom's just messaged me saying he'll be done in about an hour and 15 minutes. So I'm just gonna freshen up, have a bit of a chill, sit in the living room area, have a bit of a sit down. I am thinking, do I get something to eat? Cause Tom will have eaten all day, but I think I might actually, if he's done at 4.30, that's still quite early, so I might just, wait till he gets back. He said he won't want dinner because he'll be full. So I might just get some takeaway or pop over to the the pub after I've picked up Tom. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So we've just got an hour or so to chill before I need to go and get him. I'm gonna unload the bags as well because obviously we had to pack everything up to move it over here today. Let's get the car unloaded. Come on, then in we go. Oh. I didn't realise 
realise you were still recording. <laughs> Someone's back from their uh, cooking expedition. Oh, the slobber. That is horrendous. He's got a bit of lamb for his dinner tonight. <gasps> Get my view from here, Frank. Like, bring the camera I can here. see it, Tommy. It's not very nice, is it, for any vegans watching? No, what? what? Oh, it's like an AS dog ASMR. It's a bit gross as well. I feel like I need to take my makeup off. So it? I've ordered a pizza because Tom, as predicted has eaten quite a lot today would you say yeah. and would you say it's worth booking on for anyone yeah, it that's, actually, yeah. what's it called fire made, called. Fire made. Yeah. and it was at um the yep. stalls cafe it was called um i think they do different locations though don't they you have to be fairly into it to do that so. yeah it's like a niche thing by the time oh. we got back from picking tom up oh, no. it's already I've, yeah, I've just ordered a pizza to be delivered. I was just fancying it. And we're going to get some Netflix on chill for the night. And, um, and that's, that's our plans for this evening, to be honest with you. Very chilled. On tomorrow's agenda, we've got a check out here by 10. So we'll just have a nice slow morning. Then I want to head to Stonehenge first. Then I want to go to Blake or Cabbie, where they filmed Harry Potter. Then we're going to go across to Swindon where there's a Neptune outlet. And then we're going to drive over to our next spot where we're staying called the Wild Rabbit. So that will be like in my Cotswolds vlog, but I'll still vlog all of tomorrow um, in this video. But yeah, so we've got a bit of a road trip journey, exploring, adventuring, walking day tomorrow as well. So yeah, chilled evening. Going to pop on that... Um, I was watching, what was it? I literally just pressed play. It looked really good. And then Tom messaged saying, free for you to come and pick me up. It's called Baby Reindeer. Let me know if you've watched it. It's on Netflix. Just the pleasure on Tom's face from the enjoyment he gets. <laughs> I'm just so happy it's like you that. like that golden retriever TikTok where he's just fed like raw veg or whatever and with a little microphone sat in front of him. I just love how happy he is. was the pub across the road they're having some kind of food delivery and recycling sort out this morning but yeah um speaking of which that first night that we had the meal across the road it's called the wheat sheaf inn i think it's called delicious food we were quite impressed the house here is so stunning honestly i'll give you a quick glimpse obviously these are the cottages um but that's their house very kind of georgian style So anyway, I'm just sat outside. There's a bit of an echo. <laughs> I'm just sat outside. Um, what's the sun's out as well? Although it's just gone behind a cloud, but it has been out all morning. We had a lovely breakfast out here this morning. Tom's just on a work school. He's gonna be done in about 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna start editing this vlog out here. Then we're gonna get on the road. And then on today's agenda, it's all depending on timing and how long we spend at each place. But I've got a bit of an itinerary that I've done planned it out last night properly and first off is going to be Stonehenge which isn't far at all from here and then we're going to go to Lake Okabe I think I said this yesterday but then Neptune outlet but between Neptune outlet and the check-in for our next place at the Wild Rabbit in the Cotswolds there is Cotswolds Wildlife and Safari Park which I'm pretty sure I'm right in saying is the UK's only dog friendly zoo 
well zoo it's like a wildlife park so depending on timing and how we're doing oh that sunshine we might make a pit stop we'll see that's like a kind of final stop if we find we've got loads of time we can't check in until four o'clock anyway until in the next place so we'll just see how the day takes us and it is already 10 o'clock though so we might actually be a bit pushed for time um so anyway quick 10 minute admin emails and editing before tom's finished with his call and then we'll get on the road i've been lying here for too long i don't know what else to do i want to get away from every little thing just to try to make it through Thinking about my options, every detail in my head. But it doesn't really matter, nothing matters, so I cry instead. I've been running in circles, trying to catch my breath. I've been trying. Nothing left I've been staring at the sea made it to Laycock. We've just pulled in at the Red Lion, right opposite the National Trust kind of, uh, well I was saying, I don't know if the actual Abbey is National Trust or it's the whole village. It looks beautiful when you're driving in. Imagine living here in the village, Tom. Our drinks are coming. Look at this sunshine. Sunshine on my shoulders. Nothing better than a refreshing sip, that first sip, although I have to say, I was going to say of Diet Coke. Mm. It's just not as good. Yeah, but we need bigger. They're tiny. They're bigger, they're not tiny. Oh, the width of this table, like that, where you're stood there. What's that? Six, 60? 50 by six? Like we need 600s, I reckon. We're talking garden stuff. Whilst we're away, our garden is still cracking on, but we need to get some tiles and stuff ordered for the back patio. Fence is arriving tomorrow, so that should be starting to go in when we get back. No, it'll be done this week. So exciting. So hopefully when we get back, probably in my next vlog, we'll be able to give you a nice big garden update. Fingers crossed. Oh, delish. Chippy chippy. And I've gone for like a Greek, what was it again? No oh no, goat's cheese was that? You may have seen at Stonehenge that we kind of did like a path alongside it. Dogs aren't actually allowed into the historical site. So what we did was we did a, and it's also free this way, you just park up by Lark Hill, which is kind of like a military camp type thing, and just walk down for like 20, 30 minutes. So, yeah, just FYI, if you're wondering why we were that side of the fence. Oh, you're gonna like that. Mm. Mm. Really nice. Oh, stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful day.
a bit of an update as we left Lake Hawk Abbey as the dogs unfortunately they're not allowed in well I think they are he said they are between the months sorry that was my water bottle <laughs> of september and march so obviously we're just outside of that so we had a look around the village there are other viewpoints anyway of like filming on location type places that you can see because we didn't spend as long there does mean that we went via the neptune and then we've made it in time to go to the zoo oh well, it's i keep saying zoo it's not a zoo it's Ch cheshire cotswolds wildlife and safari park i think it's called wildlife park and gardens wildlife park and gardens but anyway we are here tom's just taking a work school quickly so as soon as he's finished we will head on inside so i figured this vlog is going to be super long anyway so i want to do a separate cotswolds vlog next because we are here for another couple more nights so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this vlog thumbs up if you have subscribe for more make sure you hit that bell so you don't miss out on uh, being notified when my next video the Cotswolds video is coming to you. Have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys.